on July 1st of 2018 and would be completed by June 1st of 2019. This resolution is similar to all the resolutions you have voted on in the past and basically it just says that the mayor has the authority to apply for these grants. We've allocated CDBG funds and that this project can move forward. Um, we have not heard if we've been awarded this grant yet, grant yet, but we're hopeful. Um, so this resolution is just a, a formality that the state requires. We have to have it submitted to the state by December 31st. And if we are so lucky to be funded, I would again have to come before you to get authorization to expend the grant funds. And it says here that if we do get it, it'll come before the council again for acceptance? Yes. And my last question is, would you be so kind as to send me, if you don't mind, a, a where we are right now at phase one and a scheduling and the improvements? I, people always ask me, and things seem to change, and, I, and I'm and i sometimes struggling as to what's phase one, what's phase two, what's been paid for, what hasn't been. So if, if you could just cobble together something that just kind of shows the, the timeline and what we've paid for, and then what this will hopefully, the timeline and what the money will be for, paying for for phase two, I'd appreciate that and answer some of the questions. That I, I would be happy to provide that to yeah. you. Any other questions of members of the committee? Mr. Avenue? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, thank you, Ms. Fink. Um, question specific to the current hockey rink. Is yes. that is that going away? Is that being repurposed? Is that being refinished? Um, in phase two, it would be um, turned into multi-sport courts, so it would be able to be used for basketball, perhaps... Um, Soccer, hockey. So it will, for those. It will change from the existing single use rink right now. But it will retain its street hockey use? It can be used for street hockey still, yes. Very good. That's all I have for questions. Is there a motion to set up, set up a favorable recommendation? So moved. Second. Motion made and second. One more question. Vander Verkov, Vander Verkov, I always mix up that name. Um, bandstand. Yes. Um, any impacts on that in phase two? No. Uh, what will be happening? That's being thought of for phase three. So, it's, it's, okay, sir. So no, nothing's happening. What we see now is what's going to stay there. It's going to stay gonna as is until. The conversation about that potential in phase three. Correct. Got it. Okay. Motion has been made. It's been seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no, the ayes have it. Thank you very much, Mrs. Thank Fink. you, Appreciate Congress. it. Thank you for your patience tonight. Uh, I'll do this last. Mr. Uh, the next item before on the agenda is document 39817. This comes from the, D the DPW. It's a acceptance of a recycling dividends program grant for the sum of $28,000. It was presented to us by the DPW director, Carlos Haggis. Mr. Haggis. Um, um, thank you, committee members, for allowing me the opportunity to come here uh, to speak a little about, about recycling dividends grant program. Um, I guess one thing I want to point out in particular about this grant program is, is that um, in, in comparison to other grants that require the city to do something um, in relation to the grant, this grant is actually um, monies awarded for things already done during the past year. Um, this is a part of a grant program that DEP has available to municipalities where depending on the, um, the scope of the recycling program and services that are offered to the residents, you get points um, on, a, on a scale system, uh, which includes also population um, and also amount of staff dedicated to a full-time recycling <coughs> program. So depending on the grading scale of those points, um, cities and towns are awarded a certain amount of monies uh, to spend towards recycling initiatives. So in this case, this, in, this money is in particular tied to a specific project or uh, initiative, but it more is broad enough that allows the city to spend it on any recycling and it shows chooses. Uh, right now, the plan is uh, to spend this money specifically on three initiatives. Number one, increase the scope of the household hazardous waste state that we currently offer to the city. Number two, um, assist um, also in paying stipends to uh, green communities team um, that are being um, essentially sponsored by Lawrence Public School uh, teachers. 
um, where they take the, the recycling message uh, to the children and take initiatives uh, or whatnot on a day-to-day -day basis with the schools. If you remember um, earlier this year, um, I came before you and the full city council members with a member of DEP that's been assisting the city on this particular um, um, on this particular program uh, with the green communities. Um, you saw a video that the kids had um, presented and they had put together informing the community and their parents as well about how to properly cycle, what to re recycle and whatnot. So that is one of the work products of um, having the stipend work with the, um, working with the, with the teachers. Um, so we hope to continue that effort in educating our, our children and essentially bringing that message out to uh, recycling to also hopefully their parents when they back, come back home. Uh, and then finally, another piece of that, uh, some of that money would maybe use for some promotional materials, uh, which we haven't decided what exactly those promotional materials are yet, but something that we can give community during events um, um, that the city sponsors throughout the year in the summertime and whatnot. So we'll kind of get the message out there about recycling in the city. Thank you very much. I am relinquishing the gavel to uh, the vice chair, uh, Mr. Abdu. I, uh, because of my day job uh, with MassDEP, this is a grant that comes from MassDEP, so um, I've been advised by the Ethics and Council to, whenever that does happen, to recuse myself from vote, which of course puts us in a very precarious position because once I have now given the gavel, I'm not going to vote on anything on this. Um, so I'll let the uh, vice chair take it, and I'm going to sit back. So thank you, Mr. Chairman, um, as he just said, due to the, the mathematics here, we will not be able to move this up tonight. So um, I would entertain any questions regarding this item, and we will go through all the motions, and then I will table it and ask that the president um, do his thing to next Tuesday night and bring it up. Are there, is there anyone here this evening that has any questions or comments regarding this item? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to table. Or actually, do you have any questions, Mr. President? I'll entertain a motion to table. So move. No one can second. That's right. So it remains. It sits here. So it sits in the cloud. It sits here. Yeah. So, Stack, as, as you've heard, it, it'll remain here, but it will be taken up next Tuesday evening. Um, we Understood. Cannot, we cannot give it the favorable recommendation this evening, but I'm I feel pretty confident that it will um, be smooth sailing next week. Thank you very much, Councillors. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I give you the gavel back. Do you want to obtain the minutes from November 29th? Uh, yes. Is there a motion to approve the minutes from November 29th? So moved. Motion second. made and second all in discussion. All in favor say aye. The ayes have it. I don't see anything else on our agenda. Is there anything else that anybody wants to take up off the table matters? Hearing none, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. So moved. Motion made and it's been seconded by Mr. Abdul. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no, the ayes have it. Thanks.